your most powerful ability in the game acquired, uh, the run is going to get quite a bit more crazy very soon. This absolutely massive Toadette! Grips just took a few deaths getting sent back to that safety safety. I heard you guys like lore, right? Well, we have uh, go fast left, we have go fast up with enemy, we have go fast down, and now we have go fast up without enemy. Charge jump acquired. Hello once again everybody to the Ori and the Blind Forest All Skills 2022 Tournament. This is the last match in our round of 32 and we are featuring off the very mysterious Covert Muffin and the Master of the Reptiles Turtle. This is going to be a very exciting one. Commentating this match is Queen Fell alongside with Absogami. How are you doing Abso? I'm doing Fine. Things are going very well, especially since we get this very interesting match. Muffin against Turtle. Not to remind kind of, well, kind of remind us of you know, this tale, the turtle and the the muffin. You know they, they race and in the end the turtle wins, so maybe Turtle will win. I mean yeah, it, it, I mean definitely possible. I think both uh, runners as, especially have been really in their stride recently. Uh, specifically talking about Muffin's side, uh, he actually, during the qualifiers, he PB'd, got a new personal best in three of them. Each, and, and sequentially as well, two, th uh, two, three, and four, he got a new PB. It, it was insane to see. Uh, Turtle on his side as well has also just been uh, crushing kind of his recent times. Uh, during practice this morning actually was on PB pace additionally. So. You could see some very uh, interesting things come out of both of these runners, respectively. So I'm looking for both of them be on their top level game as they are uh, known to be uh, previously. So I'm I'm definitely excited. Yeah, a double PB would be the hypest thing up until now. Uh, maybe let's talk about the routes they're planning to. So Muffin has a pretty interesting way to play the game. Um, He's planning on maybe doing the what's twenty second route. Yeah, that's um, that's kind of a like we've seen it before. I think I think Google showed it off, but Muffin kind of you could say the mastermind behind it all. Back in the day, a few years ago, just Muffin is known for his absolute love of the grenade jump skill, and I am a big fan of it as well. It's just so nice to just zoom across the entire map, and Muffin's like. Well, why don't we just do this in all skills? So he crafted together, essentially, uh, I don't know if it was entirely all him, but crafted together a, a route where you get grenade early, and then when you get climb, you can just G-jump all throughout Misty and through the end of the game. So it's just, that could be something very exciting. There's also, yeah, a few other kind of quirks that you might see. I believe Muffin does kind of early HP in his route, as well as does kind of an interesting hyperspeed to death gauntlet, kind of just to mitigate any of uh, any b big potential death or kind of lag that could <clears throat> spile from that. So it looks like we're just about to get started here, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what these runners are going to showcase for us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be an interesting race, even if, well, Muffin is considered to be the favorite by quite a margin. Let's get started very soon. Yeah, um, yeah, we definitely are aware of kind of the, the PB difference. Uh, Muffin having that <clears throat> low 30 and uh, Muffin also showing us... Uh, <laughs> he's showing us some birds. It's, it's so rude. Okay, there you go. Get started right on time. Perfect. And <clears throat> so, yeah, but from uh, Turtle's sake as well, uh, has been hoping to make get consistent with not screwing up any of those kind of big tricks that we like to see throughout the run uh, those being you know swamp entry fast stomp with sarabash but turtle is very excited to be here and, and showing us some love at the heart so with that we are getting started a nice kind of backflip jump to get into the run on turtle side and muffin is showing us oh we are indeed in the sunken glades hopefully we don't get uh, stuck here for five hours 
So, funny thing about Muffin, he is going to do some movements with his mouse. And, well, he started with a circle, which apparently tries to, well, uh, bring your attention to something. But we'll be seeing him, well, maybe write some things on the screen with his cursor. And, well, moving around, so... Both players are, are here getting Sign, the first ability in the game. Well, the ability is not Sign, Sign is the one who uses it, but we just call it Sign instead of Spirit Flame. Um, well, it's an attack ability, pretty classic, if I, may, if I can say. They'll just be using it here on the front keys to try and get a quick, uh, a few quick kills here, and to get into the next part, the second part of the game. Yeah, the early game kind of, it, I, what I love about this route specifically is kind of the, the things that evolved to be priority here. The first one is, is being really small stuff, just like moving with and, you know, how well you can uh, use your sign ability to quick uh, kill things as efficiently as possible. Additionally, you have, you know, the XP routing in this uh, early game as well, which is just always something to keep an eye out from each runner because they all have their own kind of unique situations or which XP they uh, prefer over the other. And sometimes the game can just throw a bit of randomness into the, into the wrench. Maybe a health pickup or just XP that didn't drop where you, they want it to do. And kind of seeing how these runners will kind of uh, use that uh, knowledge and kind of kind of change their game on the fly is, is something that's so cool to see. But And you runners... were talking about it, but Turtle is showing this energy drop here, losing 40 frames because of the pickup animation. Oh my it's not gosh. something you want to see happen here. <laughs> not the energy drop, oh no. <laughs> But uh, he's all fine. Gets an addition. Does have the two HP, so doesn't get the uh, immediate quick uh, kind of ghost door here. But gets it nonetheless. And both are going to opt to get up here and get this fourth health cell. So no kind of three HP, you know, danger we'll might be seeing uh, later on. And so now, keeping on through, we're going to continue to do some uh, XP management so we can get a nice timed level up to head on down to the ball jump tree. Yeah, and Muffin is getting, well, the first keystone here along with Turtle. Uh, these keystones aren't going to be used, used excuse me, in the place they're supposed to be used. They'll be kept for way later into the run. Uh, in order to open door, the door in Moon Grotto. But for now, Muffin is reaching World Jump and he did a magnificent flower skip. And Turtle will follow through. Not going for the flower skip. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get that uh, that level up right on down there and with the flower XP. So now both of them having a very nice uh, wall jump split, nothing too crazy. We're going to continue on through and now basically just go backwards. Now we've, we've gone into glaze, now we're going to leave glaze. So, and now we're going to also just get this energy because we always need some energy. It's going to be used, very useful later on. And so yeah, Muffin will be opting to get this flower on the way up and so we'll essentially be getting a bunch more xp um, as he does the level up timing for all these brambles right about here very nice we've basically got a tree animation of difference between both players uh about eight to nine seconds here so it's still pretty close but muffin is definitely taking advantage in the early game uh, what they'll be going for now is the next skill which is dash it sounds pretty essential, but it was skill added in the definitive edition of the game, so it wasn't here before 2016. Um, Dash is located in Blackroot Burrows, which is not the most well-liked place among speedrunners, uh, especially since, well, you tend to lose a lot of runs here, so let's see how both runners are going to go and, well, reach this dash without taking a death or, well, having any unfortunate accidents on the way. Yeah, I also think it's just a stigma that's like, we, we as speed owners want to go fast, and Blacker Bros is pretty much one of, if not the slowest split in area in the game. Because <laughs> we have to go through all these different light platforms, we have to carry this orb, which makes orb go so much more slowly. It's, oh my gosh, it's, it's a nightmare. It's also just really dark. Uh, can we... Can we turn up the lights in here? Well, yes, we are going to. Once we carry this orb over to kind of this uh, pedestal, we'll be able to relight uh, the Blacker Bros, and then, yes, we will get that dash ability. Uh, but so far, both are using the save anywhere to skip that cutscene, and no kind of slip-ups on this walls here as we're going to keep on trekking through. And Muffin keeps 
getting a slight more advantage of the his opponent. She is now 18 seconds well at BRB entry before Turtle, and he's been having pretty clean movements around here. No problems moving through this quite slow but dangerous zone. He'll be going for the li laser cycle cycles now, sorry. Uh, I don't think he's doing the very fast cycle, but well, nobody really is doing it. Oh, he's doing the, the, the reload here in order to, well, reload the platform cycle and get a better cycle here, so saving a little bit of time and maybe going to set up another new strat here. Yeah, kind of a lot of things that we kind of we don't really mention about how Black Group Bros is optimized. Like Muffin does a little stop there, which is intentional because we want to set up the uh, platforms in the next room to work out where we'll, we'll be right there in time to jump onto the platform. So to kind of not mitigate any of these big time losses, which happen to be in intervals around eight seconds or so. I think apparently he's very close to his level up while he's waiting for these platform cycles to bring him where where he wants to be. Um, the cycles in this game are pretty much all the same, so it became quite the meme in the community. Um, no, these eight second cycles that are everywhere in the game. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of those coming up. Uh, Muffin is going to additionally. Oh yeah, he's so close to that level. Oh my gosh, you can barely see like the line there. So is going to go for a bit of a cutscene stack. So you have these two cutscenes, uh, both the one of kind of BRB going back into light, as well as the dash uh, uh, showing the dash tree. He's going to stack both of them, and we'll essentially say, okay, now I'm just going to do a bit of blind movement while we uh, maneuver through. So it's going to opt to do some uh, dashes here on the level. See how far he goes if. He can get that nice dash glide over. Yes, very nicely done. Is out of Black Group Bros, stays uh, alive. And ooh, nice. Okay, so now we're going to see a little bit of a unique thing that Muffin does specifically is doing to ha going to have an essay up during Fronky Walk. And that's because he's going to have a, a save just placed right on the entrance of Death Gauntlet. So first we'll have no kind of you know big time losses uh, capable if um, we get you know that uh, kind of bad kind of jumping RNG off the walls. And also just it allows him to do a hyperspeed to get into Death Count that way, which can also save, have an interesting kind of type save there. And Muffin apparently is quite a little bit ahead of his PB. And so is Turtle. Turtle is 30 seconds ahead of his PB at dash three. And since he got a very good um, blind movements, well, there's no doubt he's maybe even further ahead now. And well, with death glide oh that was close but uh is gonna keep it safe and just gonna hit. he does have that health and and that extra save so there was nothing too crazy there um but yeah so i mean like we said in the beginning there's these runners just totally have been in their stride recently so i mean i i no doubt that they're capable of pulling us amazing stuff and again a double pb Total going for the god cycle here will he show us a god cycle like no one before no no good cycle here. He Nate's almost had time it. Loss. <laughs> again. <laughs> it was, no, yeah, that was very, very close. But again, that's nothing uh, too crazy. That's kind of one of the really tight tricks in the run, as, especially because you can actually get like one framed and basically just clipped perfectly between the crusher and the ceiling. And so that could cause a, a really nasty death, but doesn't get that as well. I don't uh, really believe uh, Turtle is confident in getting this, but is going to set up for it. Ooh, unfortunately doesn't get the dashes were good but kind of the wall jumping you needed to get a little bit of a higher jump there um but it's Nothing doing really great double jump now so double jump is well not that interesting of an ability but it will allow him to do some pretty neat tricks uh especially well ginso exits uh not ginso excuse me not ginso a grotto exits which is the next stream coming up here uh he'll be setting himself up on the platform trying to get a little wall jump on like the smallest wall possible and let's see if he gets it all right very fast uh grotto escape here in the meanwhile well meanwhile turtle just set up his blind movements 
Yeah, that's gonna do some fly moon out of, out of double jump, kind of just doing a, a few dash slides here and climbs into the wall. That is very nicely done. Uh, with Covert Muffin's uh, kind of uh, hyperspeed save at the beginning of Death Gauntlet, is not able to do that in his route, but uh, is uh, the time loss there is not too significant, so it's not uh, too crazy. Uh, but I mean, both are having a very nice enter Ginzo, but so far these walls are just so. They're, they're coated in something very, very slimy and sticky. We could just fall off at any point, pretty much. Um, but is getting up uh, through, and uh, Muffin will be getting the Water Vein and getting that fifth HP that we were alluding to earlier. Very nice uh, jumps off that wall. A nice little kind of small double jump to get up there. So it will have that 5 HP going throughout the rest of this run. And apparently both players are still ahead of their PB at double jump, so... You may expect Muffin to be in a very good pace when reaching Ginso here. And Turtle, well, climbing the walls of Brodo, trying to catch up with Muffin since he doesn't pick the Brodo, the Grotto HC. He should be able to get to catch up quite a little bit of time here, but he'll have one less HP. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to come down to like those four damage spikes potentially in Sorrow that could kind of kind of potentially cost anything. I know there's a few runners as well that kind of do a like a damage boost. I don't for um, like Sorrow Bash, I don't believe we'll be seeing that on Muffin's side, but it's kind of another thing that an early 5 HP can uh, do for you. But now is going to pull out this boulder here. We don't want to push it inwards and we want to kind of get right under. There you go. That wall and above that boulder is this little little window for Ori to dash on through and will now be climbing up. Wonder, yes, we'll be getting that kind of nice slime damage boost. And they're not, just, again, these small optimizations keep adding up and just the amount of kind of stuff uh, you can craft for is uh, just insane to see. And he's opening Ginzo while Turtle is going through this area, the iceless area. And he'll be getting the AC at the top of the tree here, which, well, Muffin obviously did oh, did take already. And, oh my god, what is this enter Ginsu from Muffin? That was very different from what we're used to seeing, going to the left side of Ginsu. With the replay here, showing us what happened. Damage boosting, destroying the bramble on the platform, getting a very tight wall jump. Yeah, I think I've th seen that on his streams before, kind of a, another s very small vari uh, variation. And that's, uh, again, that's what I love to see, kind of the, the differences in how the runs can look up. Turtle with the small slip up there does not get the reload, uh, rekindle. So we'll have to watch Gumo steal the water vein that we uh, already have. I, okay, I guess, thanks. But uh, is feeling a little flustered about it, but it's still uh, putting on a, a great show. I believe uh, both runners still ahead of their PB at the enter Ginzo split. So, I mean, again, just so far, so good. Such amazing movement. And the minibus lag now for Muffin, it's like one of the most RNG heavy part of the game. The bus has five places where it can appear, and well, it will appear randomly on the different spots. Which, and well, while there's an indication of where they will be spawning, this is very difficult to see. Last, it's a little white arrow that lasts for one frame on one spot. Yeah, I got a little bit trolled there, kind of had to j dash all over to the right side uh, spawn for the mini boss. But then the mini boss just like, pretty much disappeared right away. But still uh, gets through with a very nice cycle. He's going to opt now to set his health at a very specific low 1 HP so that he can do a nice another ghost door here to get into this area to get the bash tree and bash it's a very interesting ability that's quite unique to this game it allows you to just well bounce off of an enemy or a projectile or even these little white lanterns you see here and there um, this ability can even be improved by using what we call a double bash um, it allows you to just rebash the enemy twice and so to move the enemy in one direction and to choose Ori's direction in the second bash. Maybe Muffin will show us some. I don't think he does many or any at all. 
Yeah, he doesn't. A lot of people have it opt to have it on like a scroll wheel or something like that. Muffin does not opt to do that. So any kind of double bash that we might see might be manual or might just be kind of a a really interesting. Uh, we'll have to ask if he performs any. There's another small variation Muffin does. He gets the fourth keystone, the one that's kind of up top. They usually jump up last. He actually does a little damage boost to get off of it. So that was very nice to see as well. All these small variations are, 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 are looking great so far. So now he's off to getting into the second Ginzo mini boss, which is a little less, it's not as hard as the first one. You just bash this shot back into its little elemental place. And uh, with that, it's, uh, it's gone. And now we're out. Well, Muffin is going to go and reach Swamp, not by doing the final escape of the Ginzo tree, which is the Ginsu escape, not the final escape, but you got what I, what I meant. Um, well, he'll be getting 100 XP on the way, he'll be watching a cutscene here, or maybe doing blind movements over the cutscene, but he'll be trying to reach Bump and enter using a little frog there we call Ringo because, well, it likes music. Yeah, we'll see that. <laughs> Not on the way here, but on the way back. Right now, we're just going to simply uh, bash it over to the right with some very specific uh, bashes. Muffet does get a little bit of damage from the Ringo. I still believe he's on enough HP. Yes, to survive a hit from the spikes. He's going to now opt to bring it over and with a, spe a specifically timed double jump. Ooh, it kind of goes near the, the tree. I really like that. And boom, gets it up. And now he is in. We're into the Thornfelt Swamp. Still with 30 water because we didn't do the Ginzo Escape, even though that water looks very clean. I can confirm it is not. Whee! Hyperspeed on Muffin's side. Uh, climbing to reach the Stomp ability. While Turtle just killed the Ginso minibus. So he'll be reaching also for Stomp very soon. Uh, maybe not doing exactly the same strategy, but overall it should look like what Covered Muffin does. Uh, I want to point out, point out still that Turtle is more than 30 seconds ahead of his PP, which is huge. While Muffin uh, is 15 seconds ahead of his own PB, which means we're still on a good pace to get a double PB on this race. Yeah, there's still a lot of very difficult or specifically uh, tight tricks that we're going to need to perform that all have the possibility of hurting our chances, but is going. we're going to keep on going. Yeah, Muffin gets that uh, nice uh, 200 XP. I don't believe it's for early, early charge. That's kind of a, it's kind of a, his own difference in how he uh, routes uh, the XP management in this game. Did get these uh, laser skips, so can just kind of da uh, dash on through. And Turtle doing his own swamp entry, doing kind of the similar thing with Muffin, kind of getting a nice specific du double jump. There you go. He is also in, and yeah, both runners so far are just playing expertly. There wasn't even a cutscene on the left side. I, I don't know what what uh, what, the, what we're talking about. Uh, why did you mention a cutscene? There never was a cutscene here. You went there earlier, and there was no cutscene. Why would there be one now? I mean, oh this, oh yeah, yeah this cutscene that we're skipping right now. That's the one I was talking about. There's no other cutscene in, in Grove. Oh, just yeah, that right, one right there. Fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, I had forgotten about the, about that one, true. But well, he's under an SA already and he'll be going for that tree over there. The charge flame tree. And there, there you go. <laughs> Muffin with about a uh, charge flame split ahead, basically. Which is, uh, I mean, for a position in Turtle's shoes, I mean, uh, I think uh, has been keeping up with Muffin in that regard uh, very well only being just one split behind while we're pretty much halfway through this game. Uh, coming up is kind of where the big uh, movement skills are going to really let, it, let us utilize a ton of new tech. You have a charge dash with the cancellations of the bash coming up. You have uh, a lot of charge jump skills that we'll be using, and especially if we will see some grenade jumps. Well, I think... The good news here is that Muffin being more than one minute ahead of Turtle Run should be going for the what's 20 seconds route. But since he's ahead of his PB, maybe he's aiming for 29 now. I'm not quite sure. So going for 29 would mean um, not doing what's 20 seconds since he's not expert enough on this route to make it faster than the current normal route. 
Huh, apparently but here he's abusing Judge Dash. Uh, apparently we're seeing a bird for some reason on turtle screen. I'm not sure why. Uh that that's alright. Oh uh, no, don't watch it. There's there never was a cutscene here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now Proof we're can having be whatever you want. Just don't let images change your mind. Mm-hmm. So so true. So now we're seeing a very specific shot on Muffin's side to get fast stopless. Oh, there's the bird. We just bonked it with some rocks. Very nicely done. Fast stompless on Muffin's side. So yes, yeah, so, I mean has been performing very expertly uh, so far and yeah it kind of uh, we'll we'll have to wait and see kind of maybe with the pv potential on muffin side maybe we'll feel a bit of nerve and we'll opt to say oh let's just play it safe not go for something crazy like what's 20 seconds um but again it's kind of all up to how they're feeling just in the moment so so far now we're coming up on muffin side with pretty much one of if not the hardest uh secrets breaks in the game that is the sorrow bash utilizing um, some bashes with this bird to get through this very tight spike bait. Ooh, gets a... Okay, I think that's actually part of his uh, setup. Oh, very nice. Flash. Well done, Muffin. So he tried to avoid damaging the bird first, but he kind of missed. He wasn't high enough, so he had to damage it. And, well, he caught up by doing a corpse bash on the, on the last bird. He did I kill think. that one bird entering Sara, so I had to do a little bit of gliding up to just uh, take a little bit of a time loss there on Muffin's side, but it, I mean, so far, so good. Does a little bit of a oh, jump cancel to get right into this uh, Sorrow Spike maze. And uh, bada bing, bada boom, we are here. And has to set up for that Ghost Door, has to uh, double, da double dip into the spikes because he has that 5 HP from earlier, but uh, a little bit of a time loss there for that. Uh, bird kill uh, is still uh, playing fantastically, as is Turtle. We'll be uh, following him up in footsteps to do his uh, fast stomp attempts of his own. And Muffin now is a little bit behind this PB, sadly, while Turtle is still ahead. So let's see what's up going for the for the Terra Break on Muffin's side, destroying the roof. Reaching for Sunstone, Turtle is catching the spider shot, shooting it towards the rock. It looked pretty good from my point of view, but I don't know his setup exactly, so maybe it wasn't. It was! Very well done here. Yeah, perfect job. Uh, Fast off was not posing a threat at all, and we'll have to see if Sarabash will pose a threat for Turtle. So far, uh, did not for Muffin, as, so we'll keep on that updating uh pretty much this is the moment now on muffin's side will we be seeing what's 20 seconds we'll ha it'll be determined right here if we head off to the left into misty we'll be seeing a normal route that we've been seeing throughout this entire tournament but if he goes to the right we might see something very interesting absolutely and well he's going down there going through this tight little place and he's going right Let's go. <laughs> it's time. Cancels here, going towards Blackroot Burrows. He's go going to go and get grenade before getting climb, which will allow him to do grenade jump as soon as he gets climb, just a little bit later. Meanwhile, Turtle is trying to set up the birds. Yeah, the, these right. birds. If he utilizes both birds, you have to get both of them in a very specific position. It could, oh. they could just be so finicky. Yeah, kind of where you are basically when the bird does its little dash over you can just kind of pretty much end it right there you know say this is the difference so between a success and a failed attempt he's been having a few troubles getting the high bird here nice he got it luring the other bird bashing it on the side and that's a sort of bash third try which is basically first try with a few details call, we'll call it that call it first yeah, it's first try. And Muffin gets grenade here, so we didn't watch what he did, but we'll see on the way back. Um, so going for a few charge jumps here. Dashing. Well, there was a cutscene here, which we kind of ignored because of the save anywhere. Getting a cycle here on the lasers. A few dash and a few rocket jumps, which are charge jumps that are cancelled with a jump. And well, he'd be leaving BRB and going straight to uh, the next area, which is Misty. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> So so close on turtle sign uh, to all those spikes, but just kept a cool head and kept it going. So yeah, we might we, we might be seeing well muffin is still in the head. It might be a little bit difficult now to see how far he is ahead with this big variation in this route. But uh, has I mean both has been doing amazingly with the variation. Got like all those really tight uh, laser cycles down in lower black of burrows. So is now heading through misty, one of the most fun sections of the run. Uh, it's just going to keep on uh, dashing through all of these birds and these frogs, doing a bit of cancellation. Only has one energy, uh, so we'll be a little careful. Opts to get this uh, energy crystal right here for the slime. Very nice. And is going to go for a little bit of a safety save slash uh, cutscene uh, reload there. Just kind of skip that really, really small cutscene. That's like one of the shortest ones in the game. We'll, we'll still opt to do it. And oh, gets a, oh God. Okay, a little damage on the spikes. Oh, gets a nice weave. Oh, amazing stuff is through and here we go it's time to count grenade jumps how many will we be seeing this is going to be so so exciting so this yeah. entire second half of misty is because we build so much fun the spikes were so scary thankfully he isn't playing free hp so he's got some leeway here but he's going for the second grenade jump already maybe a third one very soon on the way back here no on the way in and one on the way back that's in and back jumps. Oh my gosh, and all first try is insane. Is oh, Okay, this one's really close because this mu mushroom has a really weird wall hitbox, but gets that one as well. And oh man, we're already through uh, this little uh, spike area. is going to continue. Uh, does have that uh, HP to kind of buffer any of these damage spikes. Same for another grenade jump as we get this fourth keystone and to move on to get to this uh, Misty mini boss, which we may or may not see. It might, it might have been actually patched out recently. Yeah, and while Muffin is zooming around, Turtle has entered the Misty Woods, and he's kind of locked in the branch here. Is there a mini boss? There are. There are two mini bosses. I guess you could say there were two mini bosses, but they were so expertly uh, annihilated that uh, it is almost like they they weren't there at all anyway. And so now both runners are in Misty, so this race looks a lot closer for the moment than it is. But again, Muffin has already done the entirety of getting the grenade tree, so it's a little bit of kind of weird weirdness with how the, the race is shaping up. Uh, Muffin gets another grenade up here, does uh, I think one more to get uh, through kind of this big valley shaft. Uh, yes, right about here, get the glide. Uh, ooh, okay. I think that's yeah. I think that's intentional. Oh my god! What? Oh my god. What? What is? <laughs> what are we seeing right now? <laughs> the grenade jump fest. Like I, I stopped counting. Like I, I lost my count. He was doing so many of them. <laughs> he, he went below the valley peg just so he could do two more. That's just, uh, we love him up in the amazing and, stuff. You know, it was like. Then grenade jump or so in all first try except one, which is amazing to be honest. Grenade jump is not that easy to get on first try. Yep, with that, it's gonna opt for one more. This is kind of a, a specialty grenade jump that he uh, rediscovered, kind of a, a, a neat strat to do it. Nice, gets a nice terror jump as well. And we are through, and already I blinked, and we are at the H Horu door for one final dungeon and one final escape, separating Muffin between uh, the, him and the end of the run. Well, Muffin is slightly ahead his PB. I think he can't PB anymore, uh, even if he gets a very good uh, final escape. But Toto is still ahead of his PB. So maybe he can show us a nice performance still. So Muffin is going for the door warp here, skipping the entire dungeon. Maybe going to do no 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 orbs yet. The uh, muffin is showing us that uh, door warp is the higher, uh, harder one frame trick because it's gonna get immediately on that first try. Showing that grenade jump one frame uh, is so much easier than door warp one frame. It's it's all just frames at this point, right? Uh, <laughs> as we're getting in one final escape now, utilizing everything we've uh, seen, and I bet we're probably gonna see a few more grenade jumps <laughs> on muffin's side. Oh my gosh. Somewhere there's just a, a muffin just absolutely going insane. Oh, and he's, he's actually, he's the one doing the grenade jumps. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was scary too. The fire was getting very close to him there. Um, he's going to go and get this fish cycle. It's a 
good cycle, but she's got 6 HPs anyway, so the water isn't too dangerous. Going for the normal climbing strat, not going for the new <laughs> grenade jump stuff. Strat there, and well... Oh no! <laughs> doesn't like get... Jump. <laughs> doesn't what get the one that actually saves good. the most time. Uh, you won it in, in, in our hearts, Muffin. Very nicely done. GG. We'll be finishing uh, with that bonk, I think a, a high... I think a mid to high 31. But Total isn't finished yet, so let's watch what he's doing. He's going to go and get Grenade, so that's going through BRB, which is now lightened by lights that come from somewhere. And well, he's descending the whole BRB, it's like hell, you know, you're just descending further down below the abyss and reaching the place where grenade is located. We'll have to see if Turtle of his own will do any special grenade jumps. Is still ahead of that personal best. We'll get an accurate uh, counter of how far or, or ahead uh, when we get to that grenade tree split. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. And so yeah, only really two more splits will be separating that. So let's, let's keep cheering on Turtle as he goes through. Has been putting on, again, an amazing showcase, as has Muffin. As we're seeing Never some hunts. optimization, 31.46, that 35 will be Muffin's final time. So Turtle is not going for the first grenade jump here, but maybe he'll show us other grenade jumps. Uh, well, especially the last one at the end of the run. For now, he's waiting for his Baneling to go and die on the wall, so he can just go through these lasers without being disturbed or without dying, since, well, the Banelings deal fi uh, 5 or 6 damage, which is more than his total amount of health. Yeah, very, very deadly. It's going to get this health so here, so no big uh, craziness there. We're heading on through, teleporting to Swamp. And yeah. And we've got the information. Total is still 18 seconds ahead of his PB, so he may very well PB here. Yeah, let's keep it going. It's been looking real good so far. Again, there's some very tight tricks, and we kind of, as uh, Turtle was saying, he was on PB pace earlier on uh, this morning, but uh, lost it due to Dorb and Grenade Jump. So uh, th these are the two really big uh, final tricks that could uh, cause trouble, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to put a full believer in. They will not be messing with Turtle this time. Total has taken his 6 HP, going for Grenade Jump here, sadly doesn't get it. Yeah, just because Muffin gets them all first try doesn't mean it's easy to get first try. It only means Cove Covered Muffin is very, very good at them. Exactly. And now Turtle opens horror. Yeah, I won't, I won't say pretty much anything. I'll just sit here and just watch. I'm not going to jinx anything. Uh, let's just... You know, just reload a game and press press it on one frame in. You know, nothing too crazy. We're seeing 19 seconds ahead. Turtle is ahead of his personal best. Gets first try. first try. So there you go. Stays 19 seconds ahead as we are heading to the final escape. Yes, the final escape, which we've seen Muffin do with grenade jumps here and there. Pretty impressive on his side. Turtle is going to do the more well, normal route, or should I say the easier route, or the non-grenade route. I don't know how to call it, but he's shown us two hearts here before the escape. He's going very slowly in the beginning, making sure he's not dying, breaking the floor here, getting the lanterns here. Charge dashing here and there, breaking the floor. Uh, he's going for a charge dash on the wall, and no... He got hit by the flames. Yeah, the flame hitbox goes like really high up, uh, kind of higher than you expect. Went a little bit, I think, too far to the right. Uh, so it's going to have to, unfortunately, get uh, through this escape again. Is opting to just kind of wait for this lava pillar to kind of spawn in before. Uh, I don't know how big of a time loss that was, but it definitely was a, a huge one in itself. Is going to opt to do a charge dash there uh, the second time around, then just kind of stall enough on the wall there to get through. Has I believe, yep, that uh, HP to survive mostly. Uh, doesn't have to set up for these fish in very uh, specific ways. It's going to keep on going through. And now, yes, get, skips a curl. It's 
spawning trigger, one last grenade jump, and Turtle will opt to take it to skip about 45 seconds of the cutscene. Doesn't Almost. get a first try. I think he still PVs if he gets it now. He got it, uh, and he got the good one. Not disturbed by any branch on the way, so he might PB here. Might, um, yeah, we'll have to see. I, I don't know how big that time loss was uh, that in that death. Uh, it was early on, it wasn't, you know, fully near like the swim. Um, I mean, it, even if he doesn't, it was just, a, it's such a great time. Um, so, very nicely done uh, from Turtle. I think that's what a low, very low 36 uh, for Turtle's side. All right, going with Naru, maybe doing the optimization. Not doing any hops. And that's a 36.8, which I don't remember what its PB is exactly, but I think it's a PB. Yes, it is a PB. Very nice. The death and the escape did not ruin it. We have a 10 second PB from Turtle's side. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations, Turtle. And I think both runners are ready to join us for an interview. Yeah, so we'll, we'll opt to bring them in here. Hello, both of you, Cobra Muffin and Turtle, GG's. GG Muffin, GG. Turtle, you sound like you're out of breath there. Are you excited for the 10 second PB there? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Well, just a little. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I, I guess since we're already on you turtle you know I, I guess we'll start off with you i mean how are you feeling kind of overall as i i guess especially from a lot of us we were very nervous about that death in the escape but i mean how are you just kind of feeling overall with that run for, from your perspective now being your best run ever <laughs> <laughs> yeah honestly um like I, i've been practicing a ton and i've had so many runs that could have come close in practice fail at fast stompless um, so as soon as I got that first try, like I had a heart attack and I, you, like you saw it, it, it made me mess up, um, Sorrow Bash as well. And it's like, that brought me down to earth a little, but like, even, even going into the final escape, I was like, I can do this. Taking the death, I was like, oh my God, it is, <laughs> it is going to have to be like first try grenade jump. And then I messed that up and I was like, it's not happening. And then I got like second try and then I was like, okay, maybe it's happening. And then, ah, ah. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, Amazing sorry. stuff. Now you're good. You're good. Feel free to celebrate. You love to see a tournament race PB. It's just some of the most fun stuff uh, for Mori. I guess uh, speaking of, you know, uh, PB, uh, Muffin, you were on pace for a really decent portion of that run. So I guess kind of throwing it over to you now, uh, I guess early to mid game. How are you feeling kind of overall uh, how you're going through that, that race? Uh, I actually really started to relax when I saw a 12.30 Ginzo, because that's really slow for me. I'm, like, pretty on pace for a sub-12.10, if not a sub-12, with early 5 HP route for Ginzo entry, which is pretty, pretty intense. Uh, so when I was, like, when I missed Grotto God Cycle, when I missed the Crusher Jump in Death Gauntlet, it was just like, all right, well, now I just have to try and see if I get to do what's 20 seconds and key dupe was clean swamp entry I got first try got Kuro cutscene skip first try and so uh, I was able to just bring into the late game and do something <laughs> that I could laugh maniacally while I was catapulting myself through Misty Woods <laughs> I basically I basically said the the rando intro like there's a there's a covert muffin applauding and he's probably <laughs> he's applauding mid race <laughs> <laughs> good good oh man I'm so uh, glad you did that. I cannot wait to watch it back. <laughs> it was so it was so exciting. I mean, I think pretty much all, if not one, for that entire thing were like first try, but instead of sadly got the bonk on the the final one. But it was oh man, it was so nice. Yeah, it was incredible. The, the only grenade jump that I well, I missed angles on some of the the more difficult ones in Missy, and that's totally okay. You can't get optimal every time. But um, the only one I really missed was the elemental room in Final Escape, so, and I guess the final one, but I, my positioning was just off for that one, so. That's like crazy, like percentage-wise for hitting the gray jump input, so that felt really good. Oh, yeah, it was amazingly high, so that was, Thank that was you. awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Abso, any questions you might have? Any? No, I think you, you asked all the important questions here to the runners. Um, 
So I think we're going to thank everyone who participated here. So Klinfeld for commentating with me. Uh, both runners, total and covered. Uh, Skull doing the trucking and Lion for the restream. And well, everyone who watches the the streams, even if it's not every race, it's always cool to have people in the chat. And well, I'll be leaving for Glintfeld to do the outro. Yeah, so I think I'll also just kind of pass it on over. One final final question for Muffin. Uh, you have up next, moving on to the round of 16, closing out uh, this round of 32. You have an 8 seed, 9 seed matchup. You being the 8 and Sirius being the 9. So kind of how are you feeling about that matchup? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. In quals especially, I benchmarked 3 low... 30 times and like my potential is sub 29 on a normal route for like a solid pb for me so if i'm just gonna keep practicing keep playing the game the way i do i won't do what's 20 seconds for that because i i would like to try and take a win versus serious but um if i can just tackle my nerves right the nerves were was the the big thing today that really got in the way of me being able to close out a faster time so if i uh, buckle up and am able to be ready on match day, it is potentially going to be one of the closest races of the entire tournament. So I'm very, very much looking forward to it. Oh yeah, that is one for sure uh, to be looking out for. Um, and I guess uh, Turtle side, you PB'd here. How far is the PB train going to go? Are you going to keep on grinding out all skills or like kind of uh, just in general, what's next? Uh, I I really don't know. Like I, I was kind of at, like, I, like I said, I've had a lot of runs that got decent pace died a fast down plus so like getting that pb finally after so many failures is like a huge breath of relief um yeah i might i think i'm all skills out for a little bit but uh definitely not oried out so maybe all cells or maybe oreo because i like the name of that category <laughs> will be next up on my bucket list that's that's a great category name uh and all right so thank you uh both of you muffin and turtle for putting on a great show and yes as abso said of uh, kind of doing a little bit of just kind of post org uh, talk here you want to thank everyone runners volunteers and just all the planners for such an amazing round of 32 as we bring it to the close and we are starting next week the round of 16 you know uh, putting 11 oh no 16 matches together in just 11 days with pretty much no problems at all it's just gotta give the whole community a big pat on the back big hugs to everyone around uh, for making stuff like this possible it's just uh, a testament to how uh, just uh efficient we are at doing just such stuff such amazing stuff like this for the community um so as for the runners yes you can now we have all the matches are here so you can go ahead and use the uh, match sheet to schedule them for any time next week we'll be having a little bit of a break for this weekend for people everyone just kind of chill out as for the volunteers when matches come in you can uh check out uh, both the match sheet uh to see what potential matches are coming up and you can schedule them using the uh, volunteer form and uh, yeah, stay tuned for everything coming up and uh, keep your eyes peeled for some very exciting round of 16 matches. And uh, from, yeah, that is going to do it. Uh, my name is Clean Phil, uh, commentated with Abso, uh, struck by Skull and restreamed by Lion. Uh, that is going to be it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. <laughs>